Okay, so today I just want to show you three little things that you can do for praise music. You know, your hand clapping, foot stomping, kind of music, you know. So anyway, so the three things I'm going to show you is something you can do over the one, something you can do over the two, and your three chord. You know, the... Okay, so anyway, over the one, we have this drive, something that just goes with the tempo. Okay, so it's a two-handed movement. So this particular thing that I'm going to show you, you typically use it when you have a full band. So the bass um, does the walking. So he keeps on doing that, and while he's doing that, this is what you're doing as a pianist. Okay, so it's a two-handed thing. So. It might be a little bit rhythmically challenging, but you kind of get used to it. If you start off slowly and just work your way up, you should be able to um, get this thing down in no time. Okay, so we're doing this out of the key of G. Okay, so the first chord, the progressions that I'm going to be playing is a one to the four to the one to the five. That's the one. Okay, so that's basically it. Over the one, we're gonna do that thing. Over the four, and over the five. Okay, well, I'm just gonna break that down for you quickly. Um, over the one, we have a G chord. Okay. Over the four, um, we have this chord, which is like a C9 chord. Okay. So that in your left hand, you have a tritone. So you have an E, B flat. That's the chord in your left hand. In your right hand, you have a G minor, second inversion. So that's the root, first inversion, second inversion. Okay. And the five chord, it's a D with a B flat in your right hand. So B flat major in your right hand with a D in your left hand. Okay. So those are that's the basic chords, okay. So we're just gonna enhance that a little bit um, by playing a little groove over the one and doing a little thing over the two four and then just hitting that chord over the five. Okay. So over the one in your right hand you have a G chord, first inversion, right? So that's B D G, okay. And you do the slide from the B flat to the B. Play the G, just thumb. So this is all index finger, and then your thumb, and then your left hand goes six, five, or E flat to the D. So just get. Just get used to that little move. Just practice that slowly and then move your way up. Okay. So after you have that, you play C and the G together. And in your left hand play the E so okay so that's essentially like a C major chord it's just you playing like the E at the bottom and then when you slide then you do that first thing we did where you, where you slide from the B flat to the B but when you do that your left hand comes to the to the F okay so there it goes So that is
Okay. Okay. So that's the basic groove that you'll be playing over the one. Okay. Now we're going to the four. Okay, which is that tritone I told you about and the G um, minor. So in your right hand, your left hand you can keep this tritone and your right hand what you play is you, you alternate between the G minor and A minor. Okay, and the thing is, is this thing you can use it however you want to. You can come up with any kind of rhythm that you want as long as you use these two chords like with the G minor to the A minor. Okay, so over the one. And over the four. Okay, back to the G. Five. Now, one little thing that you can add before you go to the four. It's like a little passing chord. Um, so what that is, you play tritone on your left hand, which is your F and your B. In your right hand, you play E flat chord in position. So in your left hand, you play the tritone for F. So that's F and B. In your right hand, you play E flat, G, B flat. So this is essentially an E flat major chord, like a triad. Okay. So this is this is the passing chord that you're going to use to get to your four. Okay. So so are you gonna do that as you play the one? Okay. So how you do that is you drive on the one. So that little walk up is three, four, flat, five, five. And when you go to get to the five, you need this chord. So that's basically the whole thing. So what we can do first is um, <coughs> play it slow and then speed it up afterwards. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you got something from this, that tells me you're a church musician and um, that you are probably looking for practical um, tips, things that you can actually use in church. And if that's you, um, I recorded a video where I show my 10 most favorite chords and licks that I use in church, like very practical chords and licks that you can actually apply and start using in church today so if you're interested in that um just click the link and it will take you to a place where you can download the entire video um and i honestly believe that it's going to be very helpful to you and that you will be able to use all those things that i show in church so um thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you again next week. God bless.
Bye-bye.